Sometimes a lucky series of events results in the right man in the right place at the right time. One of those moments was the day in June 1941 when Major General Douglas Wimberley was appointed to command the 51st Highland Division. Douglas Wimberley had been born in Inverness in 1896 and had been commissioned into the Queen's Own Cameron Highlanders in 1915, winning the Military Cross in 1917 and ending the war as a temporary major in the Machine Gun Corps. He stayed on in the regular army after the war, and returning to the Cameron Highlanders he saw service in a variety of places, including the Irish War of Independence, where he would serve under the future Field Marshal, Bernard Montgomery, for the first time. When the Second World War broke out, Wimberley was commanding the 1st Battalion of the Cameron Highlanders. He went with the battalion to France, but he would not see action with them as in December 1939 he returned to the UK, when he was appointed Chief Instructor at the Senior Officer School at Sheerness. Wimberley was too good a soldier to be sitting behind a desk, and in June 1941 his date with Destiny and the Highland Division arrived. The 51st Division he took over was not the crack unit of the First World War. After the surrender of the original 51st Division at St Valerie on Coe in June 1940, they had been reborn by renaming the untried and conscripted 9th Division as a new 51st. The division was spread thinly along the northeast coast of Scotland on defensive duties, and they lacked the integrity of a single unit. Wimberley had his work cut out for him. He threw himself into his role. He always wore a tam o bonnet and used the divisional concert party, the Balmorals, to travel round the individual regiments, conveying the tone and spirit of the division as a whole. He instilled a sense of esprit de corps by encouraging the wearing of kilts and tartan which had been packed away in September 1939. He would attempt to poach Scottish troops from other units to maintain the Scottish tone of the division, and he would also, where possible, reject Sassanac troops, although this was not always successful in a country involved in a total war. In doing all this, he forced the division into what it had been before and was again, a tightly knit, crack division. It's little wonder that the 51st Division played a large part in the Battle of El Alamein, as throughout North Africa the Highlanders were there, in many cases making their mark by painting the famous HD logo wherever they could. Not for nothing were they nicknamed the Highway Decorators. Wimberley continued to lead the Highland Division into Sicily, but by the end of that campaign, General Montgomery had decided that Wimberley was tired and needed a rest. He returned to Britain and was appointed Commandant of the Staff College at Camberley, and then was Director of Infantry from 1944 until he left the Army in 1946. After the war, he became Principal of University College Dundee. There, he tried to instil the same kind of esprit de corps which had revitalised the 51st Division working closely with the staff and pupils with the aim of gaining greater independence from the University of St Andrews. He worked hard to improve conditions and facilities until he had to stand down in 1954 due to the rotation of principal seats. He's remembered by the annual Wimberley Award, which is given to the student who has contributed most to university life. In later life, Wimberley wrote his memoirs, a five-volume work entitled Scottish Soldier. It remains unpublished, but was deposited at the National Library of Scotland, along with other papers and diaries. Wimberley died in 1983, but the affection and pride that the 51st Division is still held in to this day is testament to the hard work and dedication of the man who was known as Tartan Tam. <laughs>